Hello guys, I hope you are all fine. Today we are here to discuss about the short term hydrothermal scheduling problem. So let's get into the topic. Here the scheduling time period is considered to be one day or one week. Here let us consider a hydro power plant, I mean hydro plant and a thermal plant meeting a demand PD. Let the total volume of water available for use be Q0. Whereas let the to- load PD exist for, for a time period T. Then the objective function is defined as minimize integral g to t e t into p z t d t plus gamma integral g to t q naught p z h into d t let it be equation 1 whereas the next one is here the constants to be satisfied are p d plus p loss minus p z t minus p z h equals to 0 let it be equation 2 whereas the next one is integral g to t Q0 of PGH into DT equals to Q total, let it be equation 3. Here, for incremental changes in generation and a constant demand PD, equation 2 gives, equation 2 gives like this, equation 2 can be written like this, do P loss by do PGH, PGH into delta PGH plus do P loss by do PGT into delta PGT minus delta PGT minus delta PGH equals to 0. Here we can write it as like this. Here we can write this equation like this. Let it be equation 4. Here from equation 1, we can write the condition for minimization as follows. Like uh, from this equation, guys. From this equation, we can write uh, this one like this. DFT by DPGT into delta PGT plus gamma into DQ0 by DPGH into delta PGH equals 0. Let it be equation 5. Whereas uh, if you multiply this equation with uh, this one minus of uh, 1 minus uh, dou p loss by dou p g h then we will get this equation gamma into 1 minus dou p loss by dou p g h into d q naught by d p g h into delta p g h equals to minus of 1 minus dou p loss by dou p g h into d f t by d p g t into delta p g t let it be equation 6 here from equation 4 and 6 from these two equations from these two equations we can write uh, if you substitute uh, in this place like uh, here there is a delta p g h and also here 1 minus uh, dou p loss by dou p g in the place of this we will put uh, this one then from the equation 4 and 6 we can write that uh, we can write this equation which is equals to lambda then it can uh, this uh, above equation can be written as uh, gamma into dq naught by d p g h into 1 by 1 minus dou p loss by dou p g h which is equals to d f t by d p g h t into 1 by 1 minus dou p loss by dou p g t let it be equation 7 here we can split the equation 7 into two equations this equation 7 can be split into two equations here let's let's discuss up the first equation this is the first equation here gamma into d q naught by d p g h into 1 by 1 minus dou p loss by dou p g h which is equals to gamma into i h into l h which is equal to lambda here in the place of this one we can write i h whereas in the place of this one we can write l h so we wrote like this which is equal to lambda let it be equals to 8 whereas this one is there now this one we will write here this one which is equals to i t into l t which is equals to lambda because here in the place of this we can write i t in the place of this we can write l t so let it be equals to 9 let it be equals to 8 here the seekers weight can be approximated as like this can be approximated as gamma into dq naught by dpgh into 1 plus dou p loss by dou pgh which is equal to lambda let it, de- let it be equation 10 here whereas the this equation can be approximated as like this yeah sorry guys it can be approximated like this dft by dpgt into 1 plus dou p loss by dou pgt is equal to lambda let it be equation 11 here these equation 10 and equation 11 are coordination equations it is used to uh, they are uh, these two equations are used to obtain the schedules here if you if here the losses are neglected which means uh, this one this one are neglected then we can write them as gamma into we can write this one as if loss is neglected if loss is neglected we can write this one as like this gamma into dq naught by dpgh equals to lambda let it be equation 12 Whereas if the here the loss is neglected, then we can write like this. 
DFT by DPGT equals to lambda latitude equals to 13. This is all of the short term hydro short term hydrothermal scheduling problem. I hope you understand guys. Thank you.